Happy Saturday evening, everybody. Mr. Eric here, about 30 minutes away from my younger brother getting married. So I figured I might as well go ahead and give you guys, there was an old mermaid who swallowed a shark. Yeah, if you've heard any of these stories, guys, you know how silly they are. Uh, but this is again by Lucille Calandro. So let's find out what happens with this old mermaid swallowing a shark. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a shark. I don't know why she swallowed the shark, but it left no mark. That great white shark left no mark. How can that be? A 15 foot long and 5,000 pounds? It beats me. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a squid. That's what she did. She swallowed a squid. She swallowed the squid to float with the shark. I don't know why she swallowed the shark, but it left no mark. Did the, swim, did the squid swim really fast? It propelled itself with a mighty jet blast. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a fish, a tropical fish. That was her wish. She swallowed the fish to dance with the squid. She swallowed the squid to float with the shark. I don't know why she swallowed the shark, but it left no mark. Sharks have rows and rows of teeth. Does that mean that they chomp and chew what they eat? Nope, we swallow it whole. Now that's a feast, said the shark. There was an old mermaid who swallowed an eel. She let out a squeal when she swallowed that eel. She swallowed the eel to brighten the fish. She swallowed the fish to dance with the squid. She saw, swallowed that squid to float with the shark. I don't know why she swallowed that shark, but it left no mark. So why did the eel look so bright? Its body creates fluorescent light. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a crab. It was tough to grab, but she swallowed that crab. She swallowed the crab to tickle the eel. She swallowed the eel to brighten the fish. She swallowed the fish to dance with the squid. And she swallowed the squid to float with the shark. I don't know why she swallowed the shark, but it left no mark. Did the crab lose its claws when it was snared? Don't worry, I can grow a spare, said the crab. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a sea star. She didn't swim far to swallow that star. She swallowed the sea star to play with the crab. She swallowed the crab to tickle the eel. She swallowed the eel to brighten the fish. She swallowed the fish to dance with the squid. She swallowed the squid to float with the shark. I don't know why she swallowed that shark, but it left no mark. Why didn't the sea star swim away? Without a brain, it's hard to stray. There was an old mermaid who swallowed a clam. It was fun to cram her mouth with a clam.
There was an old mermaid who loved to spend her whole day playing pretend. That everything underwater was her friend. Wish we could live under and learn more about underwater creatures. Turn the next page for extra features. <laughs> and guys, this book right here is another book that I'll give away on Mr. Eric Reads. Uh, that again was the, there was an old mermaid who swallowed a shark. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope that you're having a wonderful Saturday. I hope that you're gonna be well rested, refreshed, uh, enjoy tonight. Enjoy tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go get my younger brother married real fast. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed this installment of Mr. Eric Reads. And as always, guys, please tune in. Like, subscribe, follow. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook now, guys. It's coming along very nicely. I appreciate all the support. Uh, and if you have a favorite book, please reach out, let me know, and I'll be sure to include it here on Mr. Eric Reads. But I'll see you guys tomorrow night. I got to go get my brother married. <laughs>